In this video, I'm gonna share exactly how you can leverage Notebook LM to beat the competition. Whether that's a local business, a course, a physical product, a book, whatever. So, let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is head on over to a review platform and get feedback and reviews from it. One such place is Trustpilot like this. Now, if you know the name of the company you're checking out, you can search for it in the search bar. Or if you are considering creating something, but you've not actually got an actual competitor yet in mind, you can kind of scroll down and you can click on something related and read the reviews. And then you can copy and paste as many positive and negative ones into either a text file or a PDF. If you are doing this for a local business, you can come over to Google, search for the local business, and you can find the reviews. And again, you can copy and paste the good reviews and the bad reviews. You can sort them by most relevant, newest, highest, and lowest. Otherwise, you might wanna head on over to Amazon, which has got a ton of different products, books, all that kind of stuff, as you well know. And I've just gone and searched for the keyword nutrition, and I found this book, and we can see there's 1,101 reviews. Now, if there's only one or two reviews, it might not be a good example to use, but this one's got a quite a lot. So we open this up here, and we can see there are a mixture of five and one stars. Now, it might take a long time to copy every single review, so you could cherry pick certain reviews, but you wanna get a mixture of good, average, and bad. Now, be careful with bad reviews and good reviews. A lot of reviews, as you know, are completely fake, uh, and it can be quite hard to distinguish, so you just gotta use your own intuition. And a lot of negative reviews, they're negative, but they're often not about the product. I've read bad Amazon reviews because of the delivery. It was late being delivered, or you know, a book was a little bit you know, creased or something, which is not a good thing. But if we're focused on the actual product itself, in this case, the book, I wanna know why the book was either thought to be good or bad. So we can click on any of these. So we've got the uh, two-star review, so we can kind of come down. And what we'll do is we'll just copy this review and then we'll go over to a blank Google Doc and we'll paste it in there. We'll just space a couple of times. We'll go back and we'll just copy this. And we're just gonna go through and do this for as long as we want. So I'll pause the video and then I'll come back when I've got a bunch of reviews copied and pasted. Okay, so I've got two five star, two four star, two three star, two two star and two one star reviews. And I've just put the name of the book up here. So what you wanna do is copy all of the information, absolutely everything. Come over to Notebook LM, open up a new notebook, and in this case, we are going to add copied text, and we're gonna paste the text in here, and we're gonna hit insert, and wait for this to be uploaded to Notebook LM. The sources consist of customer reviews of a book titled The Science of Nutrition, Debunk the Diet Myths and Learn How to Eat Responsibly for Health and Happiness. So we've got that there. So we now want to ask three different questions. So the first question we're going to ask, what are the most common complaints in these reviews? So we'll type this in, we'll hit enter and we'll wait. Now obviously the more reviews that you have in real life, the better information you're gonna get. I've only got 10 reviews to demonstrate the process. So here we have the three main complaints, inaccuracies, lack of scientific rigor, and superficial treatment of topics. The next question that I'm going to type in is what aspects of the book's writing style do reviewers criticize or praise the most? Now, I'm not sure if there are gonna be any criticisms or praise of the writing style in the reviews that I've copied and pasted. Oh yeah, we do have some. Clarity and accessibility for praise, lack of depth and detailed for criticism. The next question I'm gonna put in here, what recurring themes or topics do book readers find the most engaging or lacking? So similar process. We just put these questions in to get as much information as we can, basically about the pros and the cons of this particular book from the viewpoint of people that have reviewed. And we get a lot of information here, simplifying complex science, plant-based nutrition, infant nutrition, visual presentation, scientific accuracy and depth, and we get criticism here. And now we're gonna get advice from Notebook LM on how we can make our potential future book better. Now, please bear in mind that when you're doing this for real, you are gonna to wanna to have a lot more reviews, as many as possible, but this is just to keep the video shorter. If I wrote a book on a similar theme, what should I do to ensure I exceeded expectations and how could I position my book better? Then let me know what messaging I should use to highlight how my book is better and we're gonna hit enter, and we're gonna get some information on how we can make a better product in the same niche, in this case, a book, and how we could use messaging to highlight just how our book is better. 
So again, we come here and we've got all of this cool information that we can use when we're creating our book. Now, I'm not going to go through all of this right now. I'll just go through the bullet points. So we want to address the shortcomings of the science of nutrition. So we, make, we need to make sure that we ensure scientific accuracy and depth. We need to provide comprehensive and detailed content and a balanced perspective on controversial topics, not just cherry picking data to support a particular viewpoint. When it comes to positioning our new book once it's done, we need to highlight our expertise and credit, creditability. Of course, we should have that. We need to target a specific audience so, for example, if you're targeting individuals interested in plant-based diets, ensure your book provides in-depth info on this topic. Choose a unique angle and approach. And then messaging to highlight your book's strengths, backed by the latest scientific research, in-depth and practical guide, clear and engaging writing style, visually appealing, easy to navigate, and expertly written. So these are all things that we can use to not only create a better product, but to also position and market our product better once it's done. And this can work for pretty much any kind of product that you can think of. So like I shared at the start of this video, you can search other review places for information on softwares, digital companies, shops, local businesses, and Amazon's great for books or particular physical items. So hopefully you got some value from this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please consider subscribing if you've not done so already, and I'll see you in another video soon. Cheers.